After months of campaign ads and debate, Election Day indeed is here. Voters in all three Siouxland states deciding local, state, and national races, as well as several special issues. We have reporters Tyler Euchner, Avia Hannon, and Alyssa Tatch at polling places across Iowa, Nebraska, and South Dakota. A full wrap in our top story now at 6. And let's start here in Woodbury County, where despite a surprisingly early voting turnout, plenty of folks today still choosing to wait in a line and vote on Election Day. And of course, we won't know for sure what percentage of Iowans voted in this election yet until those polls close. KCIU 9 News reporter Tyler Euchner tells us about what he's seen today. Tyler? Howdy there, Tim and Sophie. So. I gotta say, polls have been open since 7 a.m. this morning, and while I was out and about, it's from wor what workers tell me, it's been pretty steady. Now, I spoke with these workers around this early this afternoon, and they, like I said, it's been pretty steady, and no one had to really wait in line very long. Now, one voter did tell me that they wanted to use this election cycle to exercise their rights during this important election. Local politics is just as important as national. And with this whole fiasco out there at the law enforcement center, I just wanted to place my vote there and nationally too. Now, while the polls are going to be closing at 8 p.m., that still means that folks still have plenty of time to go out and vote. But for now, I'm live from Sioux City, Tyler Eukner, KCAU 9 News. All right, thanks for that report, Tyler. And it's been a busy day across Siouxland with residents from all three states still getting out and voting on Election Day. Voters telling us today's rainy conditions wouldn't deter them from getting out and vote. KCAU 9 reporter Avia Hannon joins us now live from a precinct at the South Sioux City Fire Department Memorial Hall. Good evening there, Avia. Yeah, thanks, Tim and Sophie. And it's not rainy more, but it is definitely cold out, and there are still quite a line of people behind me, and poll workers told me that it's been this busy since 8 a.m. this morning. The poll workers had also mentioned that 20 minutes before polling even started, there was people wrapped around the building. These volunteers play a vital role in the election, from distributing the election ballot itself to helping answer people's questions. The workers said they noticed a lot more people than usual needed their help. We have quite a few that thought they could just walk in and vote before and register at the same time, but that is the law in Nebraska. I guess in Iowa it is like that. So we have to just give them registration forms to take them to the courthouse. So. Now the polls in Nebraska close at 8 o'clock tonight, so if you haven't already, get to the polls and get voting. Live from South Sioux City, Avia Hannon, KCAU 9 News. All right, Avia, thanks for that. The polls in South Dakota will be the first to close tonight. Voting in the state runs until 7 o'clock tonight, and that includes to the north in Union County. That's right, and KCAU 9 News reporter Alyssa Tatch is on scene in North Sioux City. They're checking out the final hour of voting for those in the Rushmore state. Thanks, Tim and Sophie. Much like Nebraska, the residents of South Dakota are at the polls today using their vote to decide on several high-profile ballot issues. Most notably is the right to abortion and the legalization of marijuana. With several polarizing measures on the ticket, first-time South Dakota voter JoLynn Jacks says she came into the polling station with a game plan before casting her vote. I studied all the topics before I came, so I came with a clear agenda knowing what I wanted to do, and yes, there was some on the ballot that I feel strongly about. I believe that women has a right, according to their position, for them to decide about abortion. South Dakota residents have until 7 p.m. to cast their votes. From North Sioux City, South Dakota, Alyssa Tatch, KCAU 9 News.